Hi everyone. Thank you for tuning into this video. Pressing that replay button. I really do appreciate it. I know these videos aren't for everyone. When I started my channel, it was mainly like card making, um, planning, scrapbooking, things like that. So journaling is not for everybody. Um, I am planning to do a lot more on my channel. Last year, my mental health just suffered really severely and I barely did anything with my channel. I am going to be a part of a collab. I've already signed up for a yearly kebab. Kebab? Collab? <laughs> kebab that's a funny i haven't had a kebab for so long i've been on a diet for so long um oh my goodness can't speak get the teeth back in um a collab collaboration so that starts on the 13th so watch out for that and um yeah i'm just planning to try and get the channel back to normal i'm not going to put any pressure on myself because when i do that i end up i just don't do it um yeah i do still enjoy my youtube just with everything that happened um with like caravan and stuff the heart went out of it for me when you trust somebody and it turns out all to be lies, um, yeah, you feel like you've been made a fool of kind of thing. So, yeah, anyway, I am trying to, going to put more things on the channel. So, this wee video, now I know it's going to be like three videos in the one day. It's literally just because I'm working on this journal just now. Whether I post it tonight or not, we'll see. But, anyway... The journal itself, a wee update on it, is actually drying really well. I'm so happy with the ink transfer. Look, some of the, the like the papers transferring over. Um, you can see them on the back. So it's obviously still not completely dry. It's still damp. Um, but the actual papers themselves and the book is drying really well. Look at that. So I'm really excited for this to be completely dry. But at the moment, it's looking super grungy and just smells good and looks good. And so, yeah, so far, so good. It's working. Obviously, as I said before, it's still got all the fabric. And this is just like the bare bones. It's not even like the cover's not finished or anything at all. It's literally just the bare bones. But anyway, that's where we are. But I want to start making, while that's drying, some of the bits and pieces for the inside. Now, I've got some coffee dyed bits and pieces. Let me just get comfy and I'm going to zoom out a bit. That's better. Um, coffee dyed bits and pieces that I've got. Just took them out of my stash. And some of them that I've done earlier today as well. Um, I want to try and make some kind of flippy, flappy bits <laughs> to go into the journal. I'm not quite sure. I know kind of where I'm going with it. But we'll, we'll go as we go along. So what I've got. Now I have got some stuff. Um, as you see in my big box of tricks that's not coffee dyed and we'll be using those as well but I've got um, let's see in this pile I've got some loose coffee dyed tags that I've done so they're nice and dry now you can see the one with the pattern that I sprayed and so they're nice they're ready to be decorated I've got some of these petty cash vouchers that are coffee dyed so these are really nice adding in because they've got nice journal and space on the back got some of those i've got some postcards i've actually got some scottish postcards actual real vintage ones coming um ones that i'm going to be sending over the pond and ones that um i'm going to use in this journal just because the lady just as a wee thank you to the lady that sent me um the kits as i said i am when i when i actually go through the full kit i will talk you through it and things like that but yeah it's skeleton arm and i'll leave that down below so i've got some postcards and um, i have got some bags that i've coffee dyed so this sounds nice i've got some of these three like the money packets it says name class and amount they've been coffee dyed i've got some of the cd um, envelopes and just be careful because when you're putting these in the oven you need to take out the plastic so I've done that so you can replace it with vellum or a lot of the time I just leave it out but we'll see where we go with it so I've got some of them I've got some wee bits of paper and receipts that are coffee dyed that I had left over some these are other receipts just from a larger receipt book that I had left over as well some envelopes Again, I took the plastic out. Now, because these are Tesco envelopes and I had the blue inside, it works out really cool because look at the pattern and stuff that you get and the ink bleeds through. So, ordinarily, what I would do with these, um, it is just completely different. I don't actually spray these. I usually just do these ones with ink and use the other white, the white ones that have not got the Tesco on the inside. Um, 
but because it's a Scottish, I think the blue is quite nice. So I've got some of those that we can work with. I've got a ton of coffee dyed paper. So I've got quite a lot of that that we can use. And I've got some coffee dyed 300 GSM card as well. Just for like mountain um the ephemera onto and it's for making we folders and things so that's where we are and what we've got out here and as i said i've got my box of tricks as well anything that doesn't look vintage i will vintage it up with sprays and oxides and inks and stuff so oops let me just make sure i am in yeah yeah, yeah. right okay so let's see what i need to do i'm going to take a bit of card Let's figure out what size I really need the flip outs and things to be at the most. If I want to make a wee folder, you're talking about that at the most, I would say, because I want it to be able to fit into the book if I'm making like pockets and things like that, or even like gluing it onto a page. So first of all, I'm going to make like a wee folder. Where is my bone folder? What did I do with it? it is. As I said, I'm literally just winging this, guys. I don't really have a particular image or anything in my head. I just... And usually I would do some sewing on these as well. But I'm going to be doing quite a lot of sewing in the journal anyway, so... Maybe go with that. And then I need to take off a wee bit off the bottom. So yeah, I just want some some like interest really in the folder. Um, not in the folder, sorry, in the journal. Just some different pieces that are going to be flipping and flapping and all sorts. <laughs> so anyway, right, let's see. So, let me grab some glue. First thing I'm thinking is I want to make this bit into the folder. So I'll make this bit here into the folder. Some people like to iron their card once they've coffee dyed it. I don't. I like it to look like it's been kind of water damaged. Um, so yeah, you can see it's got all the marks off the oven and stuff, so it's pretty cool. So I'm just using book binding glue. This is my favourite glue. Just using that. And then if we go, so I want to decorate this part. going to tear it just to make it a bit more vintage looking or rustic looking rather I thought I'd make this one on camera I will be making other ones you know me guys, I like coming on and doing a wee chai chat when I'm crafting anyway, so. Let's do that. How was everyone's new year? Hope you all had a lovely one. Mine was really quiet. I had my wee grandson, just the way I like it. Nice and quiet. They are like that, and then we can use they smell amazing because they've been coffee dyed. We can use or no, we 
of all, we'll have it like that. You don't need much glue because they're really light. So just make sure you don't go over the pocket. That one about there. So you've got this wee pocket up here that you can use. I need to move guys, I'm not comfy at all. Back's killing me because I was back at work last week sitting in my chair my back's killing me. Right, so we've got that one. I think we'll use another one. So that's what's fun about making stuff like this because you can just literally wing it. As I said, usually I would do some sewing on it and sew around it and things like that. And I can probably will actually go back around it and sew it on the bits that I can. Um, but I know I'm going to be doing a lot, a lot, lot of sewing in the journal anyway. So I'm not that fussed about sewing on this. I'll be fine. Right, then I want to take one of my... thinking what am I thinking one of the postcards I think to make a pocket like a wee tuck pocket that's going to go there so then you've got you can put stuff in there what I'm going to do as well is we'll ink it as we're going along just makes it a bit easier I'll just take a bit of my foam the dry foam just some vintage photo get rid of all these bits I don't need them um stamps and where is my ink oh, oh there it is I'm looking for the Versafine so this is the sepia vintage sepia sorry just take it a wee stamp I'm just putting a few wee bits and pieces this just says inspiration there. Like that. So I've got um what did I do with them? Oops, give me two seconds. Yes, yeah, so I believe it or not, I've got a whole bunch of vintage stamps, <laughs> but none of them are Scottish. Well, that's not much cop. Okay, so plan two, or plan B. I found this, Great Western Road, Glasgow. That's right, as I said, I've got more postcards coming um, for me and to send to the lady at... What did I say it was called? Skelet. That's terrible. And if I see my memory, you can tell I've took my tablets now. The memory goes Skeletorama. I apologise, my lovely. There we go. 
So I've got more coming to send over to her. Right, anyway, get back to what I'm doing. So that was just a few bits and pieces that I pulled out. Right, so instead of putting on a couple of these stamps, I just I brought out my we like postage and receipt stamps and things like that. So I'm just going to do a quick wee stamp on here. You don't have to do this. This is just like wee extra details. Just basically putting on a wee bit of interest. Nobody's, I mean, they're, they're fairly legible. Nobody's going to be like, oh, what does that say? You know, what does that say? It's just literally just for a wee bit of decoration. So I've got that. And I've got that one. There they are. So in these two, we can put in some coffee dyed lined paper. that one empty and then the pocket what can we put in the pocket we could have a tag in there well that's still will that go in well the tag needs trimmed I go quiet guys, feel free to crack along with me, it's just concentration. This is really just to give you some inspiration, these videos anyway. Not to hear me blethering on. So I took this beautiful wee card from the cat, Sir William Wallace, it says Mitchell Cigarette, so it's a wee cigarette card and it's going to go perfect on my tag. You know, I'm just thinking, and I always think this when it comes to videos like this, I should have done this as a live, but never mind, we're doing it now. Like that, favourite scent salt. Bit of stenciling over the top and a wee bit on the back. I'm going to cut the strings a bit, they're too long. Okay, so that's made that wee cool tag. You can journal on that and that will go in there. Like that. And we'll do a wee bit of stenciling. Let me just get one of my brushes. So if I'm going to be doing a lot of stenciling, I like to use my brush. There we go. Okay, so that's that wee bit. And then you've got the pocket in here that we'll do something with. I want to go back to the kit. And look, she's got this beautiful book. Like the cover in a book printed. I think that would be nice. Listen to this chair squeaking. I've had this chair for so long now, it's driving me nuts. Literally, like I use it all the time, 12 hour shifts at work. I used it for crafting before that. I got it for like Mother's Day or something years ago. I need to get a new one definitely this year because it's uncomfy, and especially when I'm working all day, um, it's uncomfy on my butt and it gives me a sore back. So, I definitely need to get a new 
seat. So I'm going to put that on the list. Plus it squeaks. <laughs> right, okay. How are we going to be using this bad boy? I think we'll just attach it straight over here. We'll just put it to where we want it. Side on. Fine. That better covers it better now and just make sure it's smooth. And just tuck it right over. side don't need a lot of tape because it's just really thin it's just copier paper that I've printed it out onto okay and it's testament to the kit itself and the quality um, of skilled ceramic stuff because it's just been printed it's not pro paper or anything like that it's just basically plain paper that I printed on and it's gorgeous so yeah so that is that that's looking really cool I'm happy with that then I want to wait, is it, grab some of my paper. We'll go for three sheets. And let's see, so three sheets. I'm going to try to think side on again. going to give us like an extra writing space so that's good so what we want to do is put in our first piece make sure that's right which it is I like to mix and match them so I put the torn edge down one side and then the straight edge down the next. You can tear the both sides if you want to, but there's no need to. Like that. I think this one's on the net. I think I might get another one. So yeah, as I said, this just gives us an extra like fold or folio that we can pull out of the journal. And we can use or even what I like with these is you can take them so if you're going somewhere and you don't want to take your full journal you just lift your notebook and you take it with you instead you can see that was only three pages but it's given us lots of spaces yeah that one's run out give me two seconds I'll put another one <coughs> On this time. I have got some of the puzzle ones left but I do need to stock up but I've got these ones so we'll use this one and then put that one there. So that gives us 
of our lighting pages like that and you've got spaces to keep your bits in you've got the tag there um right let me just grab now i'm thinking here maybe this scotland one This image is the Mappy Scotland. Take this out. And there is no shortage <laughs> of images um, in that. Kit, honest to goodness, it is amazing. Now I want to grab another piece of coffee dyed card. And I'm going to get my scoreboard. I usually, you can use like the Ultimate Pro as well, but I just got this to hand so I'm just going to use this. I just want to score three quarters of an inch down the short edge here like that. Okay perfect. So that's all I need to do. I'm just going to fold this over. Now, I'm just going to eye it, I reckon about mm, six inches maybe. So I'm going to cut this down, maybe no six, maybe about five and a half. Five and a half inches. Oops, come on. It doesn't want to cut through a wee bit here. A wee rugged edge, let me just take that off. Oh, no, it went squint. What are we saying? Oh, it no matter because I'm going to take it out. Where did my picture go? So I want my picture to be like that. Okay, move this aside, take my tape runner again, my trusties, I like using these with pictures because it doesn't like leave any lines where the glue is, so then I'm just going to manipulate this a wee bit, and then this, is going to have I'm going to use one of these wee bags in it Probably any excess glue. There we go. And then I want to have. That's going to go there. That's going to go there. 
a second. I'm not quite happy with that. It's quite... Actually, all I need to do is just pour it away, we crease it a wee tiny bit to give that more space. That's better. I feel better with that now. Right, so I want to have this then coming out of here like that and going over there. And that's going to close like that. Yeah, because it still lies quite flat. Right, okay. We'll go with that. And it's good because we've got quite, like, we've got the three quarter inch wide hinge, so it's going to be really secure. Under there as well. Keep that pocket. One of my the coffee dyed receipts. You can go on here so that you can write. One of the wee bits here from that from the cap, and this one says, "Oh gosh, this is my glasses on." Land is brown heath, so I'm shaggy wood. It's some kind of Scottish place. It's got the wee line rampant and things on it, so it's really cute. So I'm going to put this on just as the wee Scottish theme. So that will go there. We will go in with where is my there it is. This is just vintage photo distress ink. Very light. I don't want it to be overpowering at all. You might not even see it on camera guys, it's literally just to tie everything in really lightly. And then I want to get my... That one's vintage photo. Brush cordial line, that's the one I'm looking for. It's a bit darker. Put on these wee envelopes. Oh, there you go, so you can see it now on the dark envelopes with the brush corduroy. That's better. I think that's cute. Excuse me. Just 
for a wee bit of decoration. I'm going to put in some washi. The washi obviously is sticky, but just to make sure it's not going to dry out, just put a bit of that underneath it. So that was really simple. Um, and here, let's see what size it is, and we'll grab a card from the kit and see the old sorts of bits and pieces, pockets with the journal as well. This one, <coughs> excuse me, might be quite good. Gosh. Right. Okay. Onto the coffee dyed card. As neatly as possible. And then I might need to trim this one down again for the pens. image in kind of Scottish ruin or a Scottish castle somewhere. Beautiful. Some of the images in this kit are to die for. Beautiful country Scotland. I mean the UK is a gorgeous country, it really is. Right. And I'm just going to grab my vintage photo. Oh, I should have measured it first, make sure it was going to fit in before I've done that. That's alright. Oh no, it is, that's fine, that's going to fit in there. So, plenty of space there. Um, this bit here is annoying me. I'm just going to put my wee stamp, my wee, my wee go-to we love stamp just to take the blank away because it's annoying me the blank at the top so my wee love stamp i'll go there that's cute there we go cute 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 and then i have got my Just a wee spray of vintage photo. So that goes like that, that goes like that, and then that goes like that. So I've got this cute wee cutie pie folder for inside the journal. I didn't want to put any more like bulk on it. If it was just a, like a folder that I was making, I would just go ahead and like obviously put more envelopes on the front and things like that. But because it's going inside the folder, what we'll do is grab a sheet of this Morven um, vintage look it's even got the original writing on it I love this it says Flora Mackenzie so this is just some of sheet music oh, come on
Don't worry guys, all these wee bits I keep and I use and I use them in the collage. You'll see that as they go through the journal as well. Um, or make other bits for it. I use them as part of the, the collage for the journal. Obviously know these wee tiny bits, but the other bits I do. Like this side better. And then before I go back on to working on the next bit, I'll clear my desk, like, when I'm doing the journal and that again, because if I do not then I'll just get frustrated and I can't find anything and it just drives me mad. I mean, I'm stenciling, I'll always do it in threes, even if it doesn't look like it, it's still something in my, my like, OCD, it has to be threes. So that's the back, and then on the front of this wee one... We will grab another image from the kit. We'll just do this one, that's pretty cool actually, the Piper. It says, Pipe Major Seaforth Highlanders. There we go. Again, the reason I'm, I'm not putting any like bags or envelopes or anything or extra tuck spots on the front is because it's not really a standalone thing. It is going to be inside the journal, so I don't want to make it too big. That's cute. And then just for decoration, one of these wee tone pieces. One that's going the right way. This one. Literally just for decoration, we'll add on this wee bit here. Bits are annoying me, they're just too long. That's it. Okay, so that's a wee extra bit that's going to go into the journal. Like that. And then we'll just grab a piece of... Oh. 
string. I'm not going to put an eye or anything in, guys. There's no point. I'm just going to... Wrap it around a couple of times. Put it into a wee bow. And then tie it. And then just go over the actual string with a bit of oxide. So there we go. That's our early um, booklet for popping in to the journal. Oh, so when it's finished, it'll be like, see, we'll know that one because that one's not, but say for example, it'd be something like this. I don't want to uh, chance it because it's still damp, but you can see what I mean. Something like that, it would be popped into the journal, something like that. Or maybe in the back cover or the front cover or something, but right now it's still damp the pages so I want to let it completely dry before we do that so yeah let me know what you think of this wee cutie pie talk to me in the comments and I'll see you all again in the next video thank you bye bye